in this clip right here, you can see Pierre Polyev being interviewed. Uh, this is a video from, uh, I got it on the counter signal. It's still CPAC, but uh, I saw it because of them. So counter signal, uh, Cat Canada, or probably maybe just counter signal, but anyways. So you have Pierre Polyev once again, arguing with CTV news, you know, like a proud, like, you know, um, news station that actually advocates that Pierre Polyev wants to do an election for, uh, uh, you know, like bathtubs. So according to CTV News, Pierre Polyev is calling for a bathtub election because the bathtub election, uh, the bathtub is actually made of carbon. So that's what they said. It had nothing to do with the carbon tax. But anyways, if you listen to Pierre Polyev here trying to give an explanation to the questions they're giving, they don't stop. They're literally defending terrorists. They're scolding Polyev for standing with Israel. They're attacking Polyev for taking a stance with Israel, but against Melanie Jolie. Yeah, sure. Well, you're, you're, you're asking me on, uh, look, what is their policy? It's to, they've doubled the debt, they doubled housing costs, they've given us the worst inflation in 40 years. They would have to reverse, they have to do exactly the opposite of everything they've done to fix all the problems that they've caused. What I'm saying is, what, I, what I'm saying is, let's ax the carbon tax to bring down what he said out there is absolutely true. She's like, why are you lying right there? Everything he just said there, if it was a lie, it would have been a hit with a major community note on X. And he said that multiple times. So it's true. Like, go look at Jagmeet Singh and, and all the community notes that Jagmeet Singh actually had. And you'll see that they actually do that. On gas, heat and groceries rather than quadrupling the tax to 61 cents a liter. I would work with her on axing the carbon tax. I would uh, allow her to take my private member's bill that will build the homes by removing bureaucracy to get building. I would allow her, I would allow the government to take my entire uh, plan to cap government spending with a dollar for dollar law to, to bring down the deficit, inflation and interest rates. And I would allow them to take my plan to stop the crime with jail, not bail, stronger borders and not banning hunting rifles and treatment rather than unsafe supply so we can bring our loved ones home drug free. So take those, take those, take that. So why not just agree No, but I'm just finishing the question. If you take those ideas, ax the tax, build the homes, fix the budget and stop the crime, to Christia Freeland, let me know what she says. You can't do any of that until this current debate is dispensed with. So not, why not just agree to send it to the committee like the speaker has suggested? The RCMP says it already has some of these documents. Why continue to buy the government more time with keeping the House of Commons in stasis? Well, the, the you can't bring up your this uh, is, it's been, confidence motions. It's been months now since the, the, the Auditor General revealed a $400 million spending scandal involving 186 instances of conflict of interest where liberal appointees gave tax dollars to their own companies. $400 million is a lot of money for the single moms who can't afford groceries, for the seniors who can't afford rent. We're not just going to let $400 million of corruption be swept under the rug uh, so Justin Trudeau can get on with his day. So we say, we, let's end this now, let's get Parliament back to work by handing over the documents to the police so we can bring home the Thank you. Simple math, man. What he says right there is just logic. Like, you're, like, why are you giving millions of dollars to companies that you're sitting on the board of, probably, or invested in? That's corruption.